Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. I'm Shubhashi Zatto and today in this video we will talk about K and F concept, neutral density filter or ND filters as they say. And we'll see if it is worth it. If you are a beginner and you are looking to buy an ND filter and you have a tight budget, then you might want to check out this video. So what does a ND filter do? It basically cuts down the amount of light that is entering your camera lens. Now don't confuse it with an aperture because aperture controls the amount of light that is entering your camera sensor. It is happening inside your camera body and ND filter comes later that part. It, ha it is cutting down the light and it is all happening you know outside your camera body to you know, put it in simple words. So when can we use an ND filter? Let's take an example. You are shooting a video at 24 fps and according to the 180 degree shutter rule your shutter speed is 1 upon 50 and you are using a wide aperture lens. So let's say you are using an aperture of 1.4 or 2.8. So in a well lit environment you can get an overexposed image or an overexposed video out of your camera. So there you can use the ND filter and uh, you can control the amount of light that you want to cut down in your video. So doing this you will get a fairly exposed video or an image. Here are some sample shots taken with the video settings of 1 upon 50th shutter speed and an aperture of 1.4 and their respective stops. The first image depicts the original lighting captured by the camera, a very overexposed shot which is unusable. And at the sixth stop, I got the optimum well balanced shot. And as I went further, at eighth stop, the X mark starts to appear as it decreases the amount of light. And going further and beyond the maximum range or the max stop, the image gets lighter as we move towards the minimum stop again. Now talking specifically about k and concept variable in the filter, with any product that we purchase, the first impression is very important and I was very impressed with how I received this product. And this video by no means is a sponsored video, I'm not yet there. But I am genuinely sharing my uh, you know opinion on this product because it has uh, you know really helped me so uh, I was impressed with the case that it comes in it's uh, you know very well built and uh, the box says uh, as you can see this box this box says uh, variable ND2 to 400 which means it is a 8 stop filter and uh, it's a 52mm filter which I bought for my Sigma Prime lens and uh, I bought it from Flipkart actually at Rs 1588 this is the box that it came in and if I just you know open it it this case is pretty solid as I said before it has this lock just open this and inside this sits this cute little filter and I also uh, like this spongy thing inside in, in, in which this uh, you know filter sits it really uh, protects the filter and uh, it's very uh, handy while uh, you know traveling especially so yeah I love this packaging actually all right so uh, these are the stops so max means the more light it cuts and min means the less light it cuts and these are the eight stops and uh, you have to align this mark with the stop you want to stop at and another thing is this uh, ND filter does not have any hard stop meaning that if you go beyond the minimum range or you know if you go beyond the maximum range there's no stop that it will you know uh, stop at so it will just uh, rotate fully and then again come to the minimum range which uh, you know the more higher end uh, ND filters have this stop thing so that is just something the, that you have to work with but I don't think that is a big problem and to be honest I was pretty skeptical myself about buying this ND filter because before this I have not ever used an ND filter myself so I had to purchase an ND filter which uh, was you know proper with the amount of uh, you know money I have uh, allotted for this product I mean for buying a filter and also getting a good quality filter it just met my expectations and i took this uh, to my recent trip to himachal and this filter just saved me and one thing i would like to highlight in this video is that i think it's very important for you know companies brands to 
you know come up with good quality product at reasonable price because as i was you know scrolling through youtube looking for a nd filter that uh, will you know satisfy my needs and also won't be much expensive all i could find out on youtube was you know this expensive brands and uh, you know if i talk about myself i am a hobbyist i take pictures and i make videos that i really enjoy myself so for me buying a very expensive filter will be uh, you know will not will be a kind of meaningless for me so i have to go for a product that is you know that is for me uh, has a reasonable price and it also you know serves my needs and you know in a good way and that's it for this video guys hope you have enjoyed this video and found this video helpful if you did let me know down in the comment section and you know give a like it really helps and uh, share it with your friends who are looking for anything like this and uh, also subscribe to my channel because it helps see you in my next video bye